Hey, I'm Scythian, and welcome to another Star Citizen tutorial. Today we're going over basic ship combat. We're going to take a quick look at our controls and how they function, and then we're going to dive into Arena Commander to fully put them to use. Arena Commander is a great way to practice your combat against the AI before going up against your fellow players. Starting with our mouse, we have our primary weapon on left mouse click, our secondary weapon on right mouse click, and missile controls on the mouse wheel clicking the lock on target, and holding to fire them. Onto our keyboard, we have quite a bit of controls here. Starting from our numbered keys, we have 1 to 3, which allows us to pin targets. Left Alt plus your desired number will pin the target, and then clicking the numbers separately will allow you to switch between them. This is useful when working with a group. 4 cycles through ships currently attacking you, 5 cycles through all targets labeled as hostile, 6 cycles through all friendly targets, 7 cycles through everyone, 8 cycles through ship components. This is one I don't use enough but is fantastic as you can cycle through a ship's engines to knock them out. 9 hails a target, basically grabbing their attention, and finally 0 removes all pinned targets from keys 1 to 3. If you can get in the habit of using the different targeting methods, great, it'll help you in the long run. If it's a little too much for you, don't worry, there is a simpler option, and it's one we're going to use regardless. Our T key will target whatever is directly in front of us. This will be your primary targeting key, especially if there's a lot of enemies around, where using keys 4 or 5 can scroll through quite a bit of targets before landing on your desired one. Using Q and E to roll into your turns will be a great help in maneuvering. G toggles through our weapon's gimbal status, with most ships having three modes, fixed, gimbaled, and assisted. This all comes down to personal preference. Fixed keeps the aim under your reticle, meaning you will need to stay precisely on target to land your shots. Gimbal allows the weapons to move freely with the mouse, slightly faster than the ship can, allowing you to follow the target more easily. However, this comes at a trade-off in terms of weapon size, Using gimbal mounts will force you to use one weapon size smaller. If a ship fits size 4 guns, then adding a gimbal mount will drop the max size to 3. Assisted uses gimbals and acts as sort of an auto-aim, combining both fixed and gimbaled. As long as the target is within the larger circle, most of your shots will land, but you'll never have 100% accuracy. This mode is typically easiest for beginners, allowing you to focus more on flight controls. We will use this during today's video. H launches our decoy countermeasure, while J launches our noise countermeasure. They have not updated the keyboard layout to reflect this yet. These were previously called flares and chaffs, which to be honest I preferred. Decoys are used to throw off heat seeking missiles and cross section missiles, which when under fire, the warning will show as a Wi-Fi symbol. Well, noise fields are mainly used to deter electromagnetic missiles marked by a lightning bolt symbol. The cross-section missiles which lock onto the frame of the ship can be harder to fool with the countermeasures and may require you to use asteroids to hide, outrun them as they lack maneuverability and have a max speed of 490-ish, or get far enough away that you can decouple, turn, and shoot them down. I would also like to mention that the noise fields can be used to hide you from radar, forcing the enemy to manually target you. This will also jam your sensors, preventing you from locking onto them. Before we move on, if you don't know what decoupling is, I did cover it in my first tutorial at 29 minutes 14 seconds. I apologize for the terrible audio in that video, it will be re-recorded once all the tutorials are completed. To sum it up, decoupling lets us spin around without slowing down, maintaining speed in whatever direction we were initially going. That's it for basic controls. If you want to get more advanced with it, we can use the number pad to control our directional shield strength, but I recommend you get a feel for dogfighting before you try mastering this. We can also use F5 through F8 to prioritize power to a specific component. So of course with any of the controls we went over today, they are customizable. I personally do not use the mouse and keyboard when in flight. I use dual flight sticks, which I find to be a smoother, more responsive, and immersive gameplay experience. So let's jump into Arena Commander and put the basic controls to use. Swarm initiated. Flight 
First off, you will always want to keep moving, as sitting still will make you an easy target. That said, I recommend using the mouse wheel to adjust your max speed. Having it set too high will make it harder for you to quickly turn when the enemy passes you. You will need to aim for the marker in front of the ship. This marker indicates how far ahead you need to shoot based on both your trajectories in order to land a hit on their ship. Once in range, the marker will turn green, letting you know that at this current distance and speed, your shots will hit them. You'll also notice in the bottom right corner of the heads up display, it shows my missiles, in this case Ignite 2s. It will tell you if you are above, below, or in range to lock on for firing missiles. And in our bottom left corner here, we have our countermeasures. Be careful when flying straight at an enemy. If you happen to kill them at this point, well, have fun dodging the debris. We're okay, right? Eh, not a scratch on us. Now, I don't know if this is glitched or they took vehicle degradation just a tad too far. But I should be dead, right? But based on the fact that this wrench repaired it, I'm assuming it wasn't a glitch. Anyhow, after a few rounds in Arena Commander, you should feel more comfortable with the controls. And that's it for our basic ship combat tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one, and stay safe in the verse.